today we're going to do some life-size animals. We're going to draw a giant panda face. We're going to draw a big giant squid eyeball. We're going to paint a polar bear paws. Okay, here we go. Life Size by Sophie Han. An elephant, an African elephant's feet are so big. We can, we could only fit two life size toenails on this page. Get your toes out and then see who has the biggest toenails. You or an el African elephant. There are so many wonderful creatures on this planet, from the teeny tiny to the utterly gigantic. But just how teeny tiny or utterly gigantic are they? Well, in this book, you can see for yourself. Because every time you see the world, the word life size, you will know you are looking at an animal or part of an animal that is actual size, for real. So let's go on a life size adventure and see how you measure up against some of the world's most amazing animals. High five a polar bear. Put your paw on the polar, polar bear's life size paw. Whose is the biggest? Polar bears live in the place called the Arctic, which is rather chilly. Brr. Huge paws help spread their weight on the snow and ice. Who else lives here? Try on the life-size taco toucan's beak. Hold it up to the size of your nose. How does it look? The taco toucan lives in the hot, leafy forest of Cuba. Its super snazzy beak makes up one third of its total size. That's like you having a beak that is half as tall as you are. What other birds live in Cuba's forest? You are eye to eye with a life-size giant squid. Turn the page and look through the hole to see how you would look with a giant squid eye. Giant squid live near the bottom of oceans where it is very dark. This is where having the largest eyes on the planet comes in handy. Big eyes help them to see better in the dark, which is useful when they are on the lookout for lunch. Who else lives down here? Roar, like a Bengal tiger. Hold the book under your nose to see what you would look like with a life-size tiger roar. Roar. 
Most Bengal tigers live in the vast forests of India, but it's easy for them to stay in touch as their roars can be heard up to two miles away. Pardon? What other animals can you spot? Stick your tongue out at a life-size giraffe whose tongue is the longest. Giraffes live on the hot, grassy plains of Africa. They are the world's tallest animal, so it makes sense that they have an extraordinary long tongue. This helps them to reach the leaves on the acacia trees. Yum! What other animals live here? Trying these life-size kangaroo ears on for size. Hold them up to your forehead and jump around a bit. You are practically a kangaroo. Red kangaroos live in the hot and dusty Australian outback. Their big, pointy ears can swivel to pick up sounds from all around. What other creatures live here? Wow, we have traveled the world and see some amazing life-size animals. Let's see how these animals compare in size to one another. Giant squid, giraffe, African elephant, Bengal tiger, polar bear, red kangaroo, and giant panda. Where do you fit into the lineup? Measure yourself using this book to see how you compare. Are you utterly gigantic or teeny tiny? Try measuring your friends and family as well. The end. Okay, we're going to paint a life-size panda face. <laughs> you can have some paintbrush, you can have a large one, a medium one, and a smaller one. Usually, the smallest brush I use is kind of like the size of your fingernail. You can compare the brush with your fingernail. And you can have a plate. You can have water. But we're not going to use water until the end of your job. And you can have an old rag. We're, for panda, it's mostly black and white. So today I'm only going to be using black and orange acrylic paint. And you can have another container or a paper plate. I'm going to squeeze out some black because I see panda has black fur. I'm going to use my medium brush, I think. What shape do you see? The eyes kind of look like a bean. Have you ever eaten jelly bean? It's kind of look like a bean shape. So I'm going to paint. Oh, you need a 11 by 17 piece of multimedia paper. A bigger is better because we're going to do a life size one, a big one. Panda has black eyes. Just, yeah, look at the shape. I'm painting a bean size. Panda has eyeballs, so I can do eyeball. Another eye, two eyes. 
I can paint another eyeball. Panda's nose. Look at the shape. And the pan this panda is happy. We are pretty much done. We're done. Let's. Panda has a little bit of black fur, right, on his arms. So I can do some fur. If you want to draw fur, you can do fur. Basically, furs are little tiny lines, right? Like hair. Yeah, this is my life-size panda face. And we don't need to clean your brush. Let's just leave your brush because we're going to use it later. You don't need to rinse your brush. And if you finish your panda, if you have some construction papers, you can cut out two years and then attach on the side of your paper. And then that's, that's your panda. Yeah, we just did the panda. Do you remember what is this? It's a giant squid eyeball. I'm going to continue use the same exact brush that I used for the panda. I didn't clean my brush because we can draw the black eyeball. I'm going to draw the eyeball. It looks like a circle. So I just paint the inside of the eyeball. And what color do I see? He has some polka dots around his eyes. I'm going to squeeze out some orange. I don't need to clean my brush because mixing color is fun. You can see the color change. I see another giant circle and I get more orange. Why don't you just da 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 Now your orange become darker because you have black on your paintbrush. You can get more orange and then you can see the color turn lighter and lighter as you paint. I just see a bunch of polka dots. I'm going to try to cover up my paper with polka dots. If you want to use other colors, you can. You can squeeze out some light red, pink, blue, any color. Any color you like. Giant squid are not always orange. They can be any colors. They can actually change colors. Now I covered my entire paper, almost entire paper with polka dots. Yeah, this is my giant squid eye. Now let's paint a polar bear's paws. You know what? Polar bear's hair is actually mostly clear and their skin is black. That's why some polar bears might look like a little bit of yellow or slightly brownish. Their fur is actually clear. So, and also their diet has a lot of seals. It can look light yellow because of the seal oils. So let's get a large piece of paper 11 by 14 or larger. And because his hair can look like yellow or brownish, we're just gonna go ahead and use 
the orange we used for the giant squid. So let's do it. His paw looks so big. How many fingers I see? I see one, two, three, four, five toes. But I'm going to use this orange to paint his... Actually, you know what? I'm going to change my big brush. This is the medium brush that I use. I'm going to dump this, just leave it in my water. And I'm going to get my large brush. This is bigger. I can use it for big, giant polar bear paws. I do a big one. Look at your palm. Like the shape of your palm. Awesome. Yeah, you can do as big as you want. So they're huge. I see a black shape. I didn't clean my brush. You don't need to. I see a big, almost look like a sad face. Look at the shape. And uh, I see one, two, three, four, five. And uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five giant to toenail. One <laughs> fingernail. Two skinny. Four, five. Yeah, that's a polar bear, Paul. So after you finish, you can use a cup and clean your brush. You can press it down a little bit. Press it down and then kind of go gently and then wash, 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 wash. After you wash your brush, you can use your old rag and then wipe the water off. But one time may be not enough, so you wanna do multiple times until your brush is very clean. You, you wanna press it down a little, but be gentle, and take it out, wipe it off. And you have a clean brush. This one, press it a little bit, and Rinse it off. You can clean the water. You can dump the water maybe in your backyard, maybe not in your sink, because you don't want to clog the sink. Yeah, thank you everyone.